Hope you're enjoying this nice evening of Smash 4 in the comeback tournament, comeback 2 tournament here in uh, Helsinki. Helsinki. Yes. And we go to the battlefield like we thought. And this will, this will become like a projectile war. Yep. Uh, for those who don't uh, use customs that much, uh, at this point Grudda is using two customs. Uh, he's using a uh, trip, uh, counter sapling that when it's in the sapling form it will trip you if you go near it. And then he's using uh, his custom up B, which is exploding extreme balloon trip. It goes a bit shorter duration, but the ball balloons that are left behind can be uh, made to explode when a like wants. That. Yeah. So it's re it really depends on whether or not Lothar knows the situation, uh, the timing when he needs to go in. Yep. Because uh, the usually villagers play that they they go to the ledge. They, they plant a sapling right near the ledge and then they stay around the ledge and get, uh, grab it and then throw out those projectiles. But in this game, after you, you when you grab it once, you have invulnerability during that. But the second time you grab it in succession, you don't have invulnerability anymore. Uh -huh. What's happening? I'm not really sure. May are they having button malfunctions? Yeah, okay. apparently Kurada had some kind of difficulty, but they didn't need a reset, so they just started from the neutral position. That's fair playing. Yeah. And uh, as as we know, and if you don't know, Villager is really heavy on those projectile attacks. Yep. His, both his forward air and back air are both projectiles. He uses his slingshot to shoot you. Yep, that's the, that's a, and, those, and he also has some RNG with his turnips up air and down yeah. air. Oh, oh, nice read from the uh, normal gets off. It's just getting that off smash. Straight in. And this is the point that Lord Lota wants. Because yep. when you play as Lucario, he has this uh, thing called Aura. The more damage he takes and the more he's technically losing, the stronger he gets. I think everyone knew that, but you know. Just. Yeah, maybe, yeah. pretty much. I don't think there's any people uh, who don't Lota's know. He's playing really well with his, uh, with his Aura spheres, not really giving them out. Yeah. I, don't, I haven't seen them pocketed even once yet. Yeah, they're because he's Kuroda actually he's been trading it. with the uh, villagers uh, side B. He's been pretty much neutralizing that uh, that the uh, that tool. Yeah, by uh, smashing it with the aura spheres. Yep. But again with the pressure. Actually, Lula has been doing very well. That he's he hasn't allowed Kurada to set those. See that balloon's gonna explode yeah. right there. Yep, there. That's one of the. You need to know the timing when a villager is vulnerable du during those situations. If you know that and you have a strong downwards oh. attack, you can pretty much kill him very easily. That but that's way easier to say it than done. Yep, that forward air is fast. It has range and it's strong. It's just I don't I almost would call it unfair. Yeah. So now we have a full, fully charged Orsia and it didn't get count. Yeah. Yeah, like it I said, the forward, forwards, I mean, the side B, five side special, is also a projectile. Yeah. We don't know if Korda knows that. Yeah, but actually, Luda hasn't been using that. Usually, Lorda only uses that when he tries to, when he mixes you up, uh, crosses you over, and then uses the grab hitbox. Yep. Because with when uh, Lucario gets that aura and rage, that side B grab <laughs> will kill. Oh, he's still crazy in. early. I will be harder than oh, almost. That's got. one of the uh, good things about uh, oh, a nice trade, almost getting the kill. But yeah, uh, one of oh, oh and, the and there comes the balloons because you really when when he's using that up B when the balloons are above him, you really can't go and trade with him uh, from the above because those will explode on contact. Yep. But this, it's well, Luna has a small lead, I'd say, at this point because oh, uh, strong lead. Yeah. Because uh, villager doesn't want to. Oh, he's gonna this make it. it. He's gonna make it because th yeah, that explosion, that explosion comes. One of, even though that goes a bit uh, shorter than uh, villager's normal up B, it still goes crazy far. Yep. And Lotta knows that since you know we play customs here in Finland, and yeah. we've seen lots of lo lots of it being used. Yeah. Again, trying to read that uh, normal get up from the ledge. But this time, Kurada uh, wisely just rolled away. And again, oh. with the that, that's what the uh, sapling does. It just makes you trip. And in this game, when you trip... Oh, oh counter! counter. No. But that... Uh, that, <laughs> that Lucario's that counter is just isn't very good. Yeah, it, it might make you invulnerable to damage, but you can't get the counter usually at any point against an, an, an opponent. It's not like Mart's counter, where you get the instant damage. It's like 
a pause and then he comes and usually yep. during that oh. pause an opponent can dodge it. Balloons. Balloons, this is... no. Oh! Nice use of the still down, uh, down there. Oh, and of course uh, Kurada can, uh, can, if he chooses, he can make those balloons explode uh, prematurely. Yeah, I'm actually kind of surprised Kurada isn't using the uh, side B as a you know, uh, recovery option. Yeah. Oh. oh, and that's one of the things. Even though uh, Villager, when he uses that side B Lloyd rocket, when he puts it out, you'd think that it's a wall. But for the few first few seconds, uh, frames, it starts moving. It, it's, it's not counted as a wall or a projectile. Everything goes through it. Yep. And that's actually the what Lota has been trying to do with that uh, normal B of his, that aura sphere. He's either using it so that it trades with the Lloyd rocket, or it. It, he uses it so that it goes straight to through the uh, Lloyd Rocket when it starts. Yep. Oh, look at that range on that side B. Yeah, it's at this point it's like half a battlefield. Uh, and there comes the grab. Very solid uh, performance from Lord right now. Yep, no, not many, many stakes. Yeah. The match is going for the six minute mark. Because actually I think, considering that the moves that kill with Villager are usually his smash attacks, like that bowling ball or a three turnip. Yep. Luda can can get that Ooh. percentage and get that rage and aura, and he's not in that big of a danger to die. See, he doesn't even need to go next to the sapling because he got that range on the side B. Oh, yeah. Oh, Deal with dealing huge amounts of uh, shield damage right there. Yeah. Because at this point, I believe that <laughs> the fully charged aura sphere does like 30 damage, and I think it'll kill. Yeah. But uh, because. Usually, when you play a villager, you want to get the percentage lead so that you can try to out uh, outzone the opponent. This is a bad situation for Kurada because he's behind a stock completely. Yep. He can't wait because they only have one minute left. He can't oh. wait for the timeout. This uh, that, oh, oh, and again, an nice sphere. nice use of that aura sphere, Gra uh, hitting him during the few frames of vulnerability when you get up. T telling Kurada right there that your villager pocket it will not work on me. Yeah. I don't think he managed to pocket any of those uh, Aura Spheres this match. Nope. Oh. He was trying though. You pretty much need to because if you can pocket that, it's an incredibly lethal weapon to have in your, dare I say, pocket. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm sorry for that. I'm really sorry for that. I just, I just had to. I just had to. So we're continuing now. Yeah, Schwa is okay. Shout outs to Schwa over there who just like I want attention. Notice me. And we go to the home field of Villager. Let's see if uh, Kurada can get. Actually, I'm not really sure. During the break, I didn't see Kurada playing uh, friendlies almost at uh, all. Well, he was playing lots of friendlies after the pool, so... Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, and he was playing friendlies yesterday and today, mm -hmm. uh, earlier, before the pools even started. Yeah. It's just that right now, it, it feels like he's not playing at 100%. Maybe it's just me being biased because I lost to him, but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, maybe he isn't used to the matchup. That could be it, because, well... Lucario isn't a popular choice. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> Lucario is a hated choice because of the rage and aura. Yep. Because when he's at max aura, pretty much at, like, 40%, a normal side smash from the center of the stage can kill you. Yep. Especially if the blast zones are really small. Thus, quoting the great... Well, great and great, great unquote, great zero. Um, I have no respect for Lucario players. Oh yeah, but... No, but <laughs> sorry, I shouldn't have said that. I have nothing against Zero. He's a great great guy. I mean, you can't not respect the guy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is pretty much off topic, but damn the dominance he had in EVO. Yep. It's um, just crazy. He's, he's mad good. Yeah. But anyhow, back to the match. Kurda's using that neutral air a lot now. Yeah, it, because it's really good. It comes out like frame 3 and it lasts for quite a long. Yeah, and it has a uh, hitbox everywhere. Oh! Yeah. Oh, nice. In the lead. Now yeah. we see Villager play like he wants to play. Yeah. But actually, Kurada has been mi uh, mixing it up uh, with the zoning and the pressure. So he's not like completely, as you can see, he's not just waiting on the ledge for Lorda to come. Yep. He actually goes and challenges his opponent also. But oh. if, he, if he chooses, he can go for that zoning approach. Well, he, d he tried it just now and did it work, so... Yeah. 
Maybe he Bambi. actually uh, took a, a note from the last match that the whole all-out uh, zoning didn't really work. He's also only using sapling, as you know, uh, as the tripping sapling. Yeah. I'm not really sure of the properties it has when it grows as a tree, but if I remember correctly, it's w it works out like uh, the Wobuff that, Wobuff that comes yes, from the does. Pokeballs. If you hit it, it kind of hits, it, it just moves yeah, and hits you, you back. If you walk towards it, it hits you back. If you, oh! No, he's. Lucario's uh, uh, recovery, th actually, this, both of these characters has have really good up B recoveries. Yeah. I mean, Unless uh, you kill. Oh! oh. Miss inputs. Yeah, he wanted to swerve the curve, the, the trajectory, so that he would have avoided Karada and went to the ledge, but. He swerved too fast. Yeah. That's one of the bad things about uh, uh, Lucario's uh, recovery. You need to be precise with the routing you take, and if you go for the stage, if you don't do it properly, you you end up in a large uh, amount of lag, and you can get punished from it. Yep. But hey, now we see the situation. Lota is, you know, oh, almost got the counter yeah. there. You know, quite bad situation, I yeah. say. Pretty much, uh, tables have been turned around completely. I mean, he has no aura, no rage. Yeah, he's two stocks behind. Right now, Kurada, if he if he would want, if he wants to, he can just chill out and zone the opponent. Because even though, because in the last match, because Lota got that uh, early, oh. Oh, that he was. Air dodged, I think he air dodged. No, the, uh, the he used side B at the. He ledge. unfortunately, at the very bottom, he wanted to use up B, but ah. miss input and he used the side B. And that pretty much kills you. Two miss input deaths for Lotta there. Not really good. Not good at all. We just gotta hope. Yeah, because that's actually. If you compare the first and the second match, first match, Luda got the advantage. Got the. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, 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 don't, don't ignore them. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, Luda got the uh, advantage, got the percentage lead. Kurada didn't really have the option of trying to just zone out his opponent. He had to go in. But in this match, he got the advantage, so he had the option. Yep. But I think he's going to keep going in because, you know, it worked. Yeah, it really worked. That was... Pretty much he dominated that match. Well, okay, the, the, the two, two, two deaths were pretty much Luda's fault, but that doesn't change the uh, thing. It doesn't, but... Uh, I hope we get a good third match for yeah. this, no, without miss input or anything. Yeah. And actually, well, these... Oh, we go to the uh, moving stage of Delfino. That's bad for the sapling. Yeah. That he will stay behind when we la after we yeah. get up Af again. After tra every transformation, it, it vanishes. Well, the play goes down, I think. Oh, I'm not sure. I we'll see. We'll, we'll see right see. here. I, because if I remember correctly, it does vanish. I think it stays... Yeah, okay. it vanishes. Oh, because the, the platform here is technically considered its own. Exactly. And, you know, I don't think if it's, if it's still in existence, you know, if it's somewhere just under the stage in existence, the uh, yeah. sapling, he can't make a new one. Yeah. I because you can you can only have one uh, sapling or at at, the, uh, at one time. Ugh, I almost at know English. Time. Yeah. Thank you, my friend. So right now, again, it this is looking a bit more like the first match than the second match. Yep. Because, uh, well, actually, th it really does affect because in this stage, it's quite narrow and small when it's in the moving uh, platform situation. Yeah, but I think there's a lot more, you know, space for, for a lot more space to space, so to say. Yeah. Uh, there's, uh, see, there's the gap between the two platforms here. Yeah. Everything's just pointing towards uh, Villager having a good time. Mm. But on the other hand, because this is a moving stage, uh, Villager can't really get that uh, sort of, so to speak, his base of operation. Yeah, but I think that's why a lot of chose the stage. Yeah, because of course this is a lot of uh, counter picks, so it's it's a really good. Uh, from what I know, villagers usually hate moving stages, and since here in Finland we have Skyloft, we have Delfino, we have Woohoo Island, and we have uh, Castle Siege, and you have only three bands, you can't ban them all. We here in Finland we love the janky, janky stages. We just love stages that don't don't fuck you up. Yeah. I mean, you, you, someone could make the argument this will fuck you up, but... Yeah, but that's because you don't know the map. There's not like random shy guy cards driving oh, around. Oh, almost got the counter there. Oh, oh there he, get, he gets. Is that a custom? I, I'm not sure, but the it's thing that he did, that he... Usually, when you're standing, like, you're on the left side and the opponent is on the right side. You come from the left, but both of those times, Luda came from the right. Because with Lucario's counter, you can come from any direction. Any of the eight directions. 
up, down, left, right, up, upper, right, l upper, left, uh, lower, so? right. I thought that was only for, you know, uh, Greninja. No, you can use uh, these two. Okay. I'm not really sure if you can use them while you're standing, if you can use the downwards mo moves. I could be mistaken. I'm, I haven't really studied that much of this uh, uh, that counter because, quite well, frankly, it's garbage. Yeah, like I said, it's not a good counter, but Luther making the best of it. Yeah. <laughs> you really can't use it more better than that when you get a kill with it. Yep. Actually, that was pretty much the first time I've seen Lucario kill with a car. Oh! <gasps> that ball that ball. was very good because Ooh. if you have a recovery that comes like from... Oh, oh and oh. now we have the pocket. This is... If he, if he hits with that, Lula is dead. No yeah. doubts about it. Even with a fresh stock, it will do... A oh, <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, and the trade. DBZ up in the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that, that was almost good for Kurada there. Yeah. Because, you know, now Lucario is at 0%. None of that yeah. rage, none of that nothing. Yeah. And it actually looked like that Kurada... Hey, was a stopping state there. Okay, so it, it depends on the situation, uh, on the stage. Or maybe at the first... Uh, first, uh, first First transformation, the timing of the sapling just ended. Oh, yeah. but uh, Lucario doesn't have any spikes, so he can't really go over there and just Spike dunk the, the guy. And actually, this is really refreshing to see that uh, how Kurada plays this. Because the ones you usually see from tournaments, they go all out camping. Of course, he can't camp right now, even though it's summer and it's good, we good weather. Okay, yeah, the sapling, yeah, sapling stage. stage. Stays. That's the way I remembered it too, but you know. Okay. I was just mistaken. You were right. But it will disappear on the way up. Yeah. And oh. now we have we have the really close yeah, air the blast zone. The forward air train. Yeah. <laughs> At best I've seen like uh, Luda connect like five of those in Battlefield or something. Well, Lota is the master of his character. Yeah. Because he has played this character uh, from Brawl. And again, oh. coming from behind. Yep. But that could, that could have been a bad idea just now, because yeah. if he came from front, he would have been behind with Kuroda, and that would have yeah. been And more it's effective. actually a good uh, a good uh, option for... Oh, and now we're just waiting, because Loda has no need to approach. Oh! oh. Punishes the uh, sapling usage over there. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, the down B counter is really good, because as far as I can uh, see, it's completely... It just doesn't give, give a shit about oh. the sapling. It just goes through it. You, you can't trip while you're in the mode well, of the counter. He's in the air, effectively. So, yeah. Oh, and almost get that. Gets that. Uh, get almost. I think it's uh, guaranteed confirmation from the Aura Sphere charge into a up smash. Well, it's damn hard to avoid anyway. Yeah. It's okay, maybe because a villager is quite small uh, of a character. Nice tech. That could have led. Be uh, if he didn't take that, it would have led to a bad, uh, bad uh, position for Kurada. Yep. We have the fully charged Aura Sphere. Yeah. And that is really good usage of uh, Villager's uh, side smash because he just drops a bowling ball. If there's nothing be uh, below him. Oh. Yeah. Getting, yeah. If getting wise to it. Yeah. If there's nothing below uh, Villager, it, w it will go straight down. Yes, so, it will. for example, in this stage, if you have a recovery that comes uh, straight. Oh! oh. <laughs> he gets the three. This could be now anyone's game because, you know, Lucario doesn't have the percent, he doesn't yeah. have the aura to do anything. And uh, Kurada has a lot of time in on his hand right now. He yep. can rack up the damage slowly. Uh, two minutes is not a lot of time. Yeah. With the speed these two are playing at. Yeah. And if, for those un unfamiliar with uh, Villager and his up and downward uh, aerial moves, he has he can either get one turnip, two turnip, or three turnips. And the more turnips he gets, the more powerful the attack was. And right now, I believe he got three, which spike also spikes. Yep. So again we get oh and tripping. Yeah, but Lud has been using that uh, down B effectively only against those Lloyd rockets. He lets it come. Yeah, and there. Yeah. Nice. Again coming from behind and getting that kill. Yep, that's well done, Lorda. Wait, wasn't that the last match? Yes, it was two one. But they're still standing, sitting there. Uh, what? Wait. Uh, maybe it wasn't. I was. Wait, the first one went to Kurada, second one What's went happening? to. 2 1. Three. Are these Two already one. out of 5? Okay, so we are playing best out of 5 in the semi finals already. I guess we'll be doing the same for the loser semi, I guess. 
Oh yeah, it, don't 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 disturb him while he's playing. <laughs> That's why I shouted right when before the match started. But yes, apparently we got information from the TO of this tournament. Uh, semi-finals matches are already are for best out of five. And we're going back to battlefield. Yeah. Uh, quite interesting counter pick for Kurada because. Th with those platforms, it limits the usage of the sapling because you can use those platforms to approach. You don't have to use the. Yeah, but I think if you grow the sapling, it will hit the platforms. Yep. Maybe he will opt to use that strategy because uh, right now he hasn't uh, uh, watered his plants at all. Poor guy. He, he he plants a sapling full of hope and then he lets it die. Yep. Kind of sad, really. Yeah. But that's how it goes. You use what you use. Yeah, I mean he's not doing bad for. How he's no. playing? No, uh, actually, with the with the, the with the trippy, uh, tripping sapling, you usually never see villagers grow, uh, make it grow, because it's just way better yeah. when it trips. Because unless I'm mistaken, oh, a Ooh. nice read with the forward smash. Just bravely thinking, you're gonna roll right in front of me. That's 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 it for you. That's all for you people at home. Don't roll. Yeah. Ooh, oh, nice. But right now. He maybe could have gotten something more, but that was the what I meant when if you if you don't do the up B of Lucario properly, you will get stuck in a land uh, long landing lag. Yep. Unfortunately, Kurado was in a situation. He tried to edge guard, so he couldn't punish. Nah, he's oh, using the turnip. But oh, headbutt. Yeah. I'm actually kind of. Uh, I don't think I. I kind of. Oh, and nice. <laughs> he just <laughs> ran with the rockets. Oh, nice. Actually, in this match, Kurada has been starting to... Oh, oh and extreme balloons. Extreme balloons and the tripping sapling at work right now. But in this match, Kurada has been going for those uh, straight-up edge guards way more than he used to. Yep. Oh. He's, he's actually going there and trying to challenge the uh, routing of uh, Lotus up. Oh, and again. Because if you... Actually, the up B of Lucario is kind of easy to intercept. It's, it's really just a narrow, it's just a line he goes. Of yep. course you can uh, change the trajectory, but it's if, you have, if you have like uh, villagers near, that's death, yeah. A villagers back throw is a kill throw, although a lot of us like to at 200%. That, that point almost anything will kill. Yeah. But not we, we do have characters that, that can't kill with a grab at that uh, range or either. Yes, we do. But not oh, Loda has a chance. Oh, missed chance. Nice. Nice. Uh, he, he swerved beautifully that he kind of avoided the immediate attack and then came back for the ledge. That's actually one of the things that you really need to learn with certain characters. You just... When you're in the free fall animation, you can move around a bit and you can use that to swerve around attacks. It depends on how close your character is. Yeah. For example, I play Captain Falcon and it's really vital to know how to swerve after you're up here because you're a sitting duck during the move yep. otherwise. I mean, uh, some of those swerves, uh, if you can outplay your opponent with those swerves, yeah. they try to uh, expect where you're going to land and try to punish you, but you just go the other way and no problems. Yeah, so those, those who think that Smash might be just mindless button mashing and child's game, it's really deep. It you, is. Ha you have to think, pretty much with every fighting game, it might look like, hey, I'm pressing buttons, I'm doing cool stuff, but you're actually, if you play it competitively, you need to think. You're thinking three, four steps ahead. Yeah. Although I just mindlessly run against my opponent. That's hey, why. Me too. <laughs> Maybe that's why we're commentating and not playing. Uh, let's not talk about that. <laughs> anyway. That would get too oh. depressing. Oh, nice. Almost got the counter there again. Yeah, he, you're right. He's only using that counter on those rockets. Yeah. But I'm actually really... Uh, oh, and there it comes. Uh, catching Villager in his run animation. You can't really... When you're in run anima animation, you can't do anything other than an up smash or your dash attack, I believe. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. Because uh, you can't even uh, kind of uh, crouch cancel it. Uh, you might be able to get shield uh, yeah. depending on your character. I mean, so some characters, they, if they're running too fast, they yeah. don't do anything. Oh, and now villagers' uh, shield is really low at this point. Oh, and that could have been this. Oh, nice! Oh, the oh, spike! I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm breaking your gears, guys, but <laughs> that was just contain so good. Contain yourself, contain yourself. Yeah. I know I know it was sweet, and I know, know yeah, you yeah. Got, got hard there, but still, contain yourself. It's kind of <laughs> kind of uh, funny to see that our streamer, Lava, over there just kind of freaked out <laughs> after that. 
Yep, but still. hopefully nobody nobody's ears were destroyed by that. Still, Villager is going in strong here. Now it's anyone's game again. Yeah. That Sage Bike was everything he needed. Yeah, and that was perfectly executed. He used uh, one one forward air to get Luda uh, away from the stage. Then he spaced it out with another, and then he went for the down air. And there come. Oh, quite weird. Uh, maybe maybe the range is bigger when you have more our aura. That would explain things, because very many of Lucario's moves uh, uh, use that aura mechanic. Yep. Because it's kind of his stick. Oh! Oh, into the tripping sapling, into the combo. Yeah. Nice percentage from there. And oh, just as I was. Uh, uh, yes, there. yes, okay. As, just as I was about to say, uh, and now it's <laughs> relevant oh. again. Uh, Villager is at the percentage lead. At this point, he can try to camp it out if he wants to. Nice yeah, use of that for what it is. Two minutes is a lot of time. Yeah. I, get it, I say it wasn't a lot, a lot of time just now, but now it is a lot of time. Yeah. Because at this point, the percentage difference is so small. Yeah. Few hits. Anything can happen. Because pretty much, uh, in general, aerial attacks do like 10% or more. Ooh, almost. No punish, no punish. He because was too scared. Uh, no. Uh, oh! I think it was because he thought that uh, Lucario had hit that Lloyd rocket, so he he was thinking that the counter was coming. He didn't want to commit anything because the counter would. <gasps> what? Blue. What? 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 Almost. <laughs> that, Calm was, down. that was beautiful. That 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 was beautiful. Oh, DBZ. And oh, and we're we not leaving. And Luda is Congratulations, Luda. Congratulations, Luda. That was really clutch from both players. That explode exploding balloon recovery with that. Yes. And then almost getting the trade and both of them dying.